This was once an exploited marine ecosystem where destructive fishing practices were rampant. Damaged corals remind its community of the many years of senseless abuse of resources and how it led them to a journey of transforming this natural wonder into a marine sanctuary that it is today. Sagai Marine Reserve is a 32,000 hectare territorial waters categorized as protected landscape and seascape under the National Integrated Protected Area System or NEPAS of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. The Sagai Marine Reserve is composed of the islands and islets of Molokabok, Molokabok Diut, Matabas, and Suyak. The extent of the marine reserve covers more than half of the surface area of Sagai City's marine waters, with more or less 500 hectares of mangroves and more than 100 hectares reforested. Sagai Marine Reserve is a, uh, an area with more or less 3,000 hectares of uh, seagrass beds. So of this area, uh, there are so many marine resources that can be found in this area. The livelihood also of the six uh, coastal barangays and of Sagai City depends on the Sagai Marine Reserve. Sagai's crowning jewel, the Carbon Reef, a 20-minute boat ride from Old Sagai Port features a unique tongue-shaped sandbar with immaculate clean waters that offer attractive options such as boating, swimming, and snorkeling. Uh, there are so many success uh, and, uh, and uh, there are so many marine life there that are back already, like the clams. They're big now and they're getting broad stuck from the pier, yeah. Broad stuck of clams, broad stuck of, of abalone. However, the success of Sagai City's marine conservation programs was soon followed by threats from poachers and illegal fishing operators within the region. Uh, sa diri bali nagya na mong diri nga ginabatuan kami sa mga illegalista labi na ini nagagamit sa ginamita. Kaga may ari kami diri isa ka tower nga kunsa diin nga uh, ginsulod man sa mga uh, nagapakilala man nga NPA. Uh, people point fingers at different groups. You know, nobody wants to say that it's coming from Sagai. People say that there's groups coming from outside of the municipality, doing the dynamite fishing and cyanide fishing and different other illegal methods. To address threats to the environment, the Bantay Dagat constantly patrols the protected seascape with the help of the DNR. Uh, the, the project uh, provided funding for, for law enforcement training. Uh, we know for the fact that uh, Sagai Marine Reserve has uh, 35 members of Bantay Dagat and these are uh, usually trained and uh, enhance their capacities and capabilities in terms of uh, coastal and marine law enforcement. The island barangay of Bolokabok thrives on a local innovation called sea ranching. Introduced by Governor Marañon Jr., artificial habitats are created on tidal flats in the sea. Marine organisms such as coral polyps, Invertebrates and algae settle and grow on these underwater structures and serve as food for various fish species. Fish are lured to these artificial structures and in three to four months, they are able to harvest 20 kilos of mature fish. On the island of Suyak, a community-based mangrove ecopark was created. It is home to the old and big mangrove species of Soneracia alba, or pagatpat, as commonly called by the Negrenses. The mangroves do not only serve as buffer and protection against natural hazards, such as storm surges, but also offer a venue for ecotourism activities of the community, which provides extra income to them. Nakatulong po ito dahil lang mga, actually yung ano po namin, husband po namin ay mga fisherman. So hindi po natin masasabi na yung mga fisherman ay araw-araw po ay may income. 
So ito po yung binigay sa amin ng city para po makatulong kami sa mga husband namin o sa pangangailangan namin sa pangaraw-araw. The environmental commitment and innovative ideas of the local government have made Sagay Marine Reserve one of the most successful marine conservation programs in the Philippines. In 1997, Sagay City received the prestigious Gawad Galing Pook Award. Pinaka important to give na sa amon nga community kay dire kami gakuha sa adlaw-adlaw nga amon ginakaon kay ginapeskwela sa amon kabataan. Nagdari kami halos na naadlaw gid kakuha sa mga pag-amon pag, mga ginabakal sa amon at laadlaw na maka-eskwila mo ng kabataan. Itutuloy namin sa pag, pagbinuligay sa kada association, pagbinuligay sa mga tao, ini mapadayo namon ng mga buluhaton sa pagproteher sa kadagatan sa mga resources ng dagat, mga kao yan. Like the Visayan say, it's a big, huge misman. Uh, if we just uh, conserve it and do not destroy it, just uh, let nature uh, uh, stay and, uh, and uh, do, not, uh, dis uh, do, not, do not kill the hen that lays the golden egg. From an exploited marine ecosystem to an exemplary marine sanctuary, Sagay Marine Reserve should be an inspiration to other protected areas and natural ecosystems in the country. A living proof that the protection of our natural resources is possible with a government that has vision, strong political will, and a community that values nature and environment.